can see some water right there. Water. It was actually on the side of a river. So where that fence is, the fence that's on the other side of this, pretend that's a river bank, the side of a river. And this boat would be attached to the side of the river, and right now we're standing in the river. Hope you all can swim, because we're in the river. There would be other houseboats all lined up about here, just like in a neighborhood. And you could visit from houseboat to houseboat, houseboat, rowing in a little rowboat, swimming, canoeing, or kayaking. This houseboat is from the 1930s, and it was actually over in Petaluma. Oh, that's a long time. If you go over to Petaluma today, there are still houseboats. However, they look a little bit more fancier than this. Now, when you walked through here, how many bedrooms did you notice? Two. Two. So how many people do you think lived in this little building here? All right. How many do you think? Two. 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 Two or three? Four. Four. Two? Two? Two or four? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Two or three? Three or four. All right, you guys are all under. There were actually six. Three children, an infant, and two adults. Now, wait a minute. Six people. How many beds? Okay, three in each bedroom. The three young girls would sleep together on one bed. The baby and the parents were in the other bedroom. Now, <coughs> how many of you have either a bedroom or a space if you share a bedroom or a bed with a sibling that's yours? If you have your own bed. If you have your own bed or you're, you're, you have an old, your own space. Okay. Now think of all the stuff that you have in your bedroom. Are you going to have all of that stuff here? No. No. Boy, I don't know what I'd bring. I mean, I like all my stuffed animals. I liked all my books. I like my television. I like my Nintendo. You probably have something way more uh, recent than Nintendo. Um, however, if I have two other siblings sleeping in the same bed with me in that nice small room, what do you think you're going to bring? Okay, some clothes. Did you notice any closets? Yep. Well, there's a little closet when we go in. You can't really see it, but there's a little closet, but not the big closets like we have today. Um, uh, clothes, a stuffed animal, and a blanket, and a pillow. Okay. What about you? With your hand up. Do you have some time to spare? That's a very good lead-in because if there are six people living in here, how many of you have chores at home? Even if it's just to make your bed in the morning. All right, excellent, put your hands down. With six people living in here, four children, one of them's a baby. And if you have babies for siblings, a lot of diapers, right? A lot of stuff that goes with the baby. So all of that, plus two adults, plus three active young girls, all in one area, if nobody did anything. Is that house going to be clean or dirty? Dirty, so everybody had chores. Now, the neat thing about this, though, was the only time you were really in this house was when it was meal time or it was raining out and you couldn't go out and play. The rest of the time, you were either on the water, swimming, canoeing, kayaking, boating, or you were playing on land. So, as you said, if you had some time, you would have some books. So probably in the evening would be the time that you would read, because there's no television, no Nintendo, none of those electronic thingies, because there's no electricity at that time. It wasn't really hooked up until later. So you are outside 
doing all sorts of things playing outside. You can go visit your friends and things like that. Now, okay, where was it? Okay, Is, do you know what it was called? An icebox. An icebox. Do you know why it's called an icebox? Anybody over here have an idea? Yeah? Okay, kept the food cold. You don't know what? You know what? <laughs> That's right, there was no electricity, so you had to use? A big piece of ice. A big piece of ice. Now, did everybody see that ice box? Yes. No. All right, everybody come, let's go look at this ice box again. You play strange, you might read, chess and checkers. All young ladies would know how to play the pinafore. This is not a piano, it's not long enough. The keyboard's not enough keys for a keyboard, plus it has these. This is known as a pinafore. It's a type of piano that does the same thing. So then you have the two bedrooms. There is a closet right here. There's a shelf on the other side of this bed, but you do have a chest of drawers. The kitchen, the dining room, and this is the ice box. Yep, now we'll have to do this in shifts, because so everybody can see. Big block of ice here. This is metal. So have you guys opened up your freezer and put your hand against the metal that's in there? Yeah. And had your hand stick? Yeah. Because your hand is warm and it melts the ice and then it freezes and it sticks. Same idea here, that metal kept everything cold. So they would put their milk in this portion over here up against this metal so it would stay cold. And then they would put their other foods here. The ladies in the back, this square right here is where the ice went and then the rest is the refrigerator. So come on out and we'll talk about that. If the last adult group could just close those doors for me. What door? Oh, the refrigerator door? <laughs> so the ice went in that side. The ice went in there. That's pretty cool. That's where the ice went. Yep, that's for the ice, I can tell. How exciting it must have been to have an ice box uh, to actually keep your food, uh, fresh, you know? Fresh, fresh food. Right. Yay for fresh food. Very cool. <laughs> I make my list of groceries that I want. I go on my day off and I go get my groceries and I shove them all in the refrigerator and the freezer. Because I have a big refrigerator and freezer. Well, that's really small. So how long do you think they went shopping? Not very often. Once a month. Okay, let, let me rephrase the question. <laughs> that refrigerator, the ice box is not that big. How often do you think they went and got groceries? Okay, every three days? Almost every day? Like three or two days. Two or three days a week? Every two days they go shopping. Every uh, every one or day. Be every one or two days, as most of you said, because it's not a lot of space to hold things. They didn't often eat and get as much elaborate food as we did. Now, so they didn't need all that big space. So this is a different style of living than what we have today, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, this isn't too bad of a living. I could do this. I'd have to put, make sure it had modern electricity because I do kind of like my TV shows, some of my TV shows, but I could get by with reading books all the time. Well, yeah, yeah. So this is a kind of a nice style of living. Where I want to go next is totally different than this style of living. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and pretend that you are back in 1886. 
All of you girls have disguised yourselves as boys. Sweet. And you have all decided that you are going to stow away or sign up and work on board a ship because you want to explore the world. Or you're kind of getting away from the law because you did something naughty that you weren't supposed to do. Or you didn't want to go into the business that your father was in because you didn't want to do that job. You wanted to do something else. Or you wanted to make some money and see the world. That's where we're headed to next. So where we are headed to next, if there are no questions about the houseboat. Okay, where we are headed to next, if you look right over there, that three-masted ship, the Malclutha, is where we are headed. Now, I do not require a straight line until we are going up the gangway. Now, everybody needs to be able to see that letter U in the word Valclutha. Valclutha is this ship's name. She was built in Scotland, which is across the ocean. The name Valclutha in English means the River Clyde. Valclutha is a Gaelic word. That's the language that you speak over in Scotland. You speak Scottish Gaelic. That's what that is. Now, she was built in 1886 to bring grain from the city of San Francisco to England. Now, have you guys studied maps in school? No. Kind of, no. sort of, maybe? No. You know, we're in North America, right? Yes. We're over here. Yes. California's over here. Uh, east, west, east coast is over here, right? And then you have this place over here called England, right? Yeah. Okay. Below North America is South America. Kind of familiar? The bottom tip of South America is known as Cape Horn. And what had to happen is the ship came over here from England, came across the water like this, over to the East Coast, came down the East Coast, came down South America, came around Cape Horn, and back up to San Francisco did this 14 times. Okay, not a big deal. Well, coming around Cape Horn, you could have really bad weather. Think of the worst rainstorm that you've ever been in with thunder and lightning and have that for a month. While you're trying to come around the bottom tip of South America or that Cape Horn, because this is a sailing ship. She has no motor. She's at the mercy of the wind. And if it's raining really hard, the wind's not blowing oftentimes, so the ship's not moving anywhere. The reason I tell you that is it could take six to eight months to go from England to San Francisco. Yeah, long time. Now, remember I said that you were all going to be disguised as boys? Because you want to go on board this ship. You are also between the ages of 18 and 35 because that's how old most of your sailors were. And what you're going to do is, for whatever reason you have decided you want to go to sea, you would come down to the harbor master. Tell the harbor master, I want to go to sea. Harbor master, the guys in charge of all the ships here, would say, okay, we've got a ship that's getting ready to, she's loaded up with grain, she's getting ready to go back to England. Her name's the Balclutha. Go ahead and meet the first officer aboard her, and you can sign on the crew. Now remember where that U is, because that's important. It's silverware. And that's it. That's it. Oh, hey, you.